Hi, I'm Jackie Wilhelm. I'm the director of Children's Ministry at Crossroads Christian Church in St. Matthews. All summer long, we're talking about confidence. As we've been talking about confidence this summer, I've been thinking a lot of my favorite movie from when I was a kid. Have you ever seen The Wizard of Oz? Not to put too many spoilers out there, but these guys sure could have used some confidence, and that's exactly what the wizard gave them. The Tin Man thought he couldn't love, but the wizard gave him this heart, and suddenly he realized he was a very loving man. The Cowardly Lion, it's in the name, right? He thought he was a coward when really all he did was recognize danger when he saw it. Then the wizard gave him this medal, and right away he knew he was courageous after all. The Scarecrow, the smartest character in the whole movie, thought he had no brain until he received a diploma. And it turns out Dorothy did have a way home after all. So what did my favorite movie characters have in common? Well, they all had something inside they weren't even aware they had. What our friends lacked was confidence. So what is confidence? Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Our memory verse is a real confidence booster. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6. Today's Bible story is in the book of Daniel. You can find the book of Daniel between the book of Ezekiel and the book of Hosea. It's in the Old Testament, but it's getting really close to the New Testament, so it's more than halfway through the book when you go looking for it, okay? You're gonna look for the book of Daniel, and this story is in chapter three. The book of Daniel is about a time when some of the Israelites were taken captive into a nearby country called Babylon. Babylon had a king named Nebuchadnezzar, and Nebuchadnezzar was kind of a go big or go home guy. He built a 90 foot tall gold statue. And you know, my worship room is at 90 feet tall. It's only eight feet tall, so it was a lot taller than this. Like lots and lots and lots taller than this, but maybe this will help give you a little bit of an idea. Nebuchadnezzar had his officials gather around. Among his officials were three young men from Israel. They were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The officials were told, whenever you hear the music, you are to bow down to the gold statue. Now, I don't have all the musical instruments that they used for that music, but I do have these. So whenever I do this, that's when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were supposed to kneel down. Guess what? They weren't gonna do it because they knew better. They knew that their job as followers of the one true God was to bow down to God only. So when it came time to bow down to that silly statue, now they decided they'd rather take whatever punishment came their way. And oh, what a punishment it was. Nebuchadnezzar was really mad that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had refused to worship his big golden god. So he had the three of them put in this fiery furnace. Wow. That looks super hot. Nebuchadnezzar had the furnace stoked up to seven times its normal heat, and then he had the three men tied up and thrown inside. Let's listen and see what happened next. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet. He was so amazed, he asked his advisors, didn't we tie three men up? Didn't we throw three men into the fire? Yes, we did, they replied. The king said, look, I see four men walking around in that fire. They aren't tied up, and the fire hasn't even harmed them. The fourth man looks like a son of the gods. After witnessing that miracle, Nebuchadnezzar called into the furnace for the three men to come out. And they did, and they were not harmed at all. Boy, was Nebuchadnezzar impressed. Listen to what he had to say. May the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants. They trusted in him. They refused to obey my command. They were willing to give up their lives. 
They would rather die than serve or worship any God except their own. No other God can save people that way. So I'm giving an order. No one from any nation or language can say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Just like God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in that furnace, you can trust that God is always with you too. I am really enjoying learning more about confidence with you this summer. I can't wait to learn next week's lesson with you. Goodbye.